is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we do have some toy hunt clips for you i'm actually recording this after the fact but i'm just going to roll into the toy hunt real quick and then we'll meet back here to show you guys what i grabbed and kind of discuss a little bit of everything man so with that being said man check out the clips some of them may be throughout the week and then they kind of add up so you guys will just see me back here but enjoy the toy hunt appreciate you checking out the video stay tuned to the end to find out what the hell we bought because i spent a lot of money this week and i'm upset Right, guys here we are at walmart this is my local walmart pretty close here kind of low-key stack here we got two luminary stings love to see that that's beautiful ever since i got my two i see it everywhere isn't that how it works it's like grand theft auto syndrome looking for a car everywhere then as soon as you find it once it's there Pac, Riho, no chase it's kind of weird i told you guys that unrivaled series three was going to hit again here it is got nyla we got Nia Jax. We got Matt Jackson back here. I knew Unrivaled Series 3 was going to hit. We got two LG and Cody's. Walmart exclusive. Got another one down here. Looking pretty pretty strong. Got Jeff Hardy in the house. Lots of Roman. Lots of Jeff. Like, good God, the Jeffs, man. There's like 600 Jeffs. Legitimately, I think there's 12. There may be more than that. How many? Good God. Goldberg, Roman. I mean, to be fair, these figures are bomb, so that's fine, but... Charlotte, Charlotte, more Charlotte. There's like 600 Charlotte basics. Like, what do we do? What are we doing here? Bunch of Drew McIntyre as well. Got Charlotte some more. Top picks, basics. Lots of the same stuff. These Trish and China battle packs have been here for eternity. They need to just mark them to five bucks and move along. But here we are today. But the store's low-key stacked, right? I mean, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of good stuff going on. I'm just glad to see it in my area, you know? I mean, there there's a lot of stuff here. We've got... Oh my god, heaven, bro. Are you serious? They live, dude. Oh my god, Roddy Piper. I didn't think I'd ever see the day. Never thought I'd see the day. Roddy Piper, Hollywood Elite. How freaking... How freaking beautiful. Like the snag right there? Yeah. Definitely getting two of these. Definitely getting two of these. I want to grab the stings, but I, I, like, I just don't see the point, you know? I don't see the point in it. I already have two of them. That's about it. I may pick up another one just for shishes and gigs if I see it again, but I want it to be in pretty good condition. These aren't in terrible condition, but I don't know. So, yeah, no, I don't know. I just been spending a lot lately, so I, I don't want to, like, go completely overboard and have, like, a million copies, but finding the John Nott is huge. That is massive. But this, the, this store is stacked, to be honest with you. Pretty stacked store. Still haven't seen the Superstars line, though. So I'd like to see some of those. I did see, aha, look at that right there. Superstar Series number one, Ric Flair. I don't see them anywhere else, but I've been seeing where people have been finding these in like different places. They're not even finding them in figure aisle or not, wrestling figure section. So they're all damaged as hell. So that's nice. You got unpunched, but they're all damaged. I don't think, I think I'm going to pass for now. We'll see. But I think that pretty much wraps up this first door. Not bad at all. Pretty, Actually pretty damn deep. If you ask me. Add another Walmart. We got some Elite 87. Another dude. I mean, they just follow me like the plague now. What is this? What is this? I found this figure everywhere. I see a million now. What? What is up with that? Miro, Ortiz, Riho. Sheeta in the house. Another Riho. Santana. Got Jeff Hardy. Got John Cena. No John Nada this time. Got Roman, Goldberg, lots of Goldberg and Roman, Jeff Hardy. Those figures are everywhere, but three Candice LeRae. Would you look at that? Three Braun Strowman and Asuka. I haven't seen that wave a lot. I feel like a lot of people do. Hell yes. Randy Orton, Elite 90. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely think I got to cop that. Got extra Ortiz and Santana right there. Still on the fence about it. I don't know if I want to grab them completely just yet. Still working on that through my mental game. Got a couple extras up top. Not a... I mean... It's not a bad store, you know? Yeah, I mean, you find you, you find the Luminary Sting. I feel like that's a win, you know? You got the Rock Elite down here. No John Nada like we discussed. Already found those, which is beautiful. I did see, though, on the end cap over here, we have the WrestleMania figures. So we do have the WrestleMania figures over here. You got, you know, Elite 90 over here. What else we got? We got Mustafa Ali. Got Shawn Michaels. I think they have a full wave. Bret Hart, Stone Cold, AJ Styles. I think there's lots of them here. This damn display. Oh, my God. I have it, I'm about to drop the damn thing on the floor. I'm about to embarrass me. I'm dropping the freaking display all over the floor here. I gotta fix this, so I'm gonna have to set the camera down. 
Oh yeah, it's coming down. Jesus Christ. About to freaking like, dude, I almost knocked the whole damn display down. But you got Sergeant Slaughter. You got HBK, like I said. Dude, I can't believe this whole thing almost came down. I honestly would like to grab Mustafa, but the, the whole thing's coming down, and now I'm nervous, and people walking by, and now I just embarrass myself, so. Got Battle Packs, got WrestleMania Elites. I don't see the Superstars figures again. I'm going to make my way up and down the aisle, make sure I don't miss any, because that would be very terrible. But we're going to make our way up and down here. Look for Marvel Legends, of course, as well. Got to, you know, got to cover all your bases. You don't want to skip over anything. I don't see any superstars, but I don't know why they're not being put in the WWE section. I've also seen them hung up on the pegs, but I've also seen them un unpunched and hung up. Got some Star Wars up here. Don't really care for it. We have, okay, we got a little end cap there with Cesaro and Roman. About 70 of them. Very nice. Those will be here forever. DC. No Marvel Legends. Oh, just one. I don't see any superstars, though. So... Still on the hunt for the Superstars wave, but that does it for this store. All right, guys, we came to this Target right here because it says they have Ultimate Edition Batista in stock, and I'm seeing where people, it's not letting them check out because it's street dated as the 9th or something like that. But I'm going to try and show you guys how to get around that. Hopefully it works out for me, or they're going to drag me out of here in handcuffs. So we're going to go in here and see if they have Ultimate Edition Batista. And then see if we can actually check out with it. So I'll see you guys in a second. Moment of truth. I don't see Batista. God in heaven. I don't see Batista, but we do have some KOs here. Austin Theory, Drew McIntyre, Hulk Hogan. Ultimate Edition Kane, Ultimate Edition Kane, Kane, Undertaker, Undertaker. No damn Batista. I know they have it in the back, though. Got to check the rest, though. Make sure we don't find the Chase Jake. Still haven't found that for whatever reason. Tons of Triple H, tons of other stuff. I guess I'm going to ask an employee... I'm going to have to ask an employee. You got Riho, Santana, another Riho. Still can't find the chase. Uh, God, I was hoping that Batista was on the pegs. Street Profits. Just not... Uh, I'm probably going to grab one of those KOs because you guys know I'm missing one, so we'll have to do that. But I guess I'm going to ask an employee, and then I guess I can check in with you guys or find out what the hell's going on. But hold on just a sec. Alright guys, here we are back home after the toy hunt, of course, as you guys know, I told you at the beginning. Anyways, man, what a crazy event. I don't even remember all the clips I had. I want to say I had two or three clips in there, and I had a clip of where I went to Target. Now, this is the biggest story. This is a story time right here because I have to get this out. So, I went to a Target, and you guys know that the Ultimate Edition Legends Target exclusive Batista is hitting. I looked it up in my area. It's not in my area, but it was like an hour away. So, me and my wife got in the car, and we went an hour away to try and get these things. It said there was two in stock at the Target. I get there. I contact a few people pretty much the guy goes in the back and he comes out and he's like yeah we have it but it's street dated and so I, I can't let you have it and basically I know for a fact we have it I held it in my hand so he literally had it at the store but they couldn't give it to me you know even if I wanted to give it to you I couldn't because our system won't let you buy it and I said well what if you just walked up there and scanned another ultimate edition it's the same price it's the same everything literally all you have to do is refill that stuff like it's, you're not losing any money here I, I understand where they were coming from you know I don't want to get anybody in trouble i don't want anybody getting fired i don't think they would have gotten fired like i i don't it's not a big deal whatsoever but i understand you know across the country people are still getting them so i had to walk out empty-handed but if you go into a store that has a ultimate edition batista out there and you try to ring it up and it won't let you ring it up just ring up another ultimate edition and then take the batista and leave the other one right there sitting at the thing i don't think it's that big of a deal i don't think that that's a huge issue right there but if you guys want to get around that little error in the system just scan an ultimate edition kane undertaker john cena whatever ultimate edition is at your store if you don't have an ultimate edition at the store i don't know what you'll do you know i don't know what you could possibly do there but if there's an ultimate edition at the store of any kind scan one of those not the batista and then take the batista that's all i can really say that's what i was gonna do but you know we we ended up not being able to even scan it or see it i was hoping it would be on the pegs when we got there but it wasn't so that just sucks but how about my area getting some of these sick ass figures man absolutely 
absolutely ridiculous at all the stuff that, that has been hitting here, but we did pick up some stuff today, and I'm gonna go ahead and get into it with you. So if you guys watched Action Figure Surgery yesterday, you guys would have known that we did pick up two of the Roddy Piper They Live. John Nada, you guys know, yeah, we, we did grab two of those. And so one of them is already a Shawn Michaels figure, and then I do have the one still mint on card. I am gonna open this one, because I want one for my Roddy Pipers, you know, on display over there. But uh, I, I did get two of those. I was gonna have to grab these. I, I have been looking for this figure for centuries, man. I had never seen this figure at retail. I couldn't believe it. I was literally just kind of, you know, like when there's like a hundred John Cena's from Fast 9 just chilling on the shelves. I looked up, I saw the They Live logo, and I was like, oh my god. And then, you know, the, the rest is history there. So I did grab a couple of those. Really excited to pick up those figures. Those were awesome. Next up, I can't remember. I, I don't think I toy hunted this, but I did grab two of the Walmart exclusive Cody. I just think that this, uh, you know, if I gotta be a mock and a loose completionist there, I already have my one. I would hold up two, but my one's already up there in a defender case hanging up, so I did have my loose version right here. I am gonna open this guy, put him on display. So I do have two of those. It was nice to finally see that. So to see this, John Nada and the Sting all in the same place, I thought that was pretty ridiculous. So now I am on the hunt for the Batista Ultimate Edition this week. I'm gonna be constantly refreshing Target, looking in my area, see when they hit. It said it was street dated for September 9th, by the way. It wasn't April 9th. I thought they had it wrong in their system, but apparently all of them are street dated for September 9th. There's no way that's damn accurate. That's five months from now. That's ridiculous. Now, the one Walmart that we went to, you guys did see that I almost knocked over a whole damn display, right? The whole display was falling on top of me, which was terrible, but I grabbed another Elite Randy Orton, the Elite Series 90 Randy Orton. This was a beautiful find right here. You guys know that I did customize my one, but I gotta have multiples of these. It's, it's probably my favorite Randy Orton figure of all time, so I gotta grab this. White gear, beautiful head, double jointed arms. It writes itself. I had to go ahead and grab an extra one of the Randy Orton. So, two John Nottas, Randy Orton, two LJN Cody's. We still got some stuff coming. While we were at the Target that the Batistas were in the back of, I found a Elite Series 91 Kevin Owens. You guys know that I did customize mine to make the Stone Cold Steve Austin Kevin Owens, which is actually like right here. I had to destruct him for a, for a thumbnail, so he's I gotta put him back together, but I had to go ahead and get mine back in the collection. I gotta fix him back up. So I will be doing that. I will be doing that, but I had to put that back in my collection. Got an extra ladder, get a brand new KO for everything updated and all that stuff. So was excited to get that figure. Had to, you know, the, I, I, I plugged in the old Denzel Washington clip. I'm leaving here with something. Next up, we did grab some AEW figures here, man, and I was on the fence about this forever, but I finally decided to pull the trigger for for whatever reason. If you guys did not know, these are the only two figures from the main Unrivaled line that I'm pretty much missing. I think there may be one or two other holes, but I think the the rest of the holes are from Series 1, just because I bought a lot of copies of those and then opened them all for fix-ups and stuff. But Unrivaled Series 4, Santana and Ortiz, I put them all forever. I never got mock versions of them, but I finally did that. You know, I finally pulled the trigger. These were in really, really good shape, and I figured I might as well go ahead, bite the bullet while they're right there, just so I can get it out of my brain. I can go ahead, get those guys out of there, check them off, and now I don't have to worry about them anymore. So I am up to date now on that. Still filling in some holes outside of some chases. I think there's a couple more holes here and there. Now, I didn't grab this on my toy hunt, but I did get my mock version of the Blood and Guts barbed wire deathmatch, but it is severely damaged, man. It, it, it is beat up here. There's a lot of damage on it, and I don't know if I want to send it back or just open it and then order another one down the road. Uh, so I'll end up with two of them loose and then uh, I guess an extra one mock whenever I decide to order it. But uh, I did get this in the mail, which is absolutely beautiful. I just don't know what I want to do with it just yet. So there's that. I'll probably end up opening it. You know how it is. It, it's just, that's just probably what we're going to end up doing. But we did end up grabbing some other stuff. Now I have a little bit of a rant here at the end because what the hell is this, man? Tell me what this is. I ended up getting three of the four WWE Superstars lines. I love this line. I think it's beautiful. I think they're creative. The figures look fantastic of all the figures that I've seen. But Series 1, Bray Wyatt. I picked up Honky Tonk Man. And I picked up Ric Flair. Now, all three of them have pretty solid card damage. So, I'm just gonna... Like, two of them are unpunched, but they still have pretty significant card damage to them. So, that sucks. But I am gonna open all three of these. 
I had no idea until I rang them up that they were $21, bro. $20 and like 80 cents or something like that. That blew me away. Now, first of all, the figures look great. They look amazing. I love all the soft goods you get. I love the accessories that you get with them. They're fantastic figures. Let me know if you guys want to see a review of these. I think I'm going to review all three of these together. But damn, I didn't expect that, man. Especially if you're going to be trying to get these mock and loose and trying to get the defenders and everything like that. Like, holy crap, man. I did not expect that whatsoever. So that kind of caught me off guard. But I was happy to find three of the four still waiting on Hollywood Hogan, of course. But... We are going to get Hollywood Hogan to complete the Series 1 of the Superstars line. I love this line. I think it's a beautiful line. I just hate that they're 21 bucks. I mean, that's that's kind of crazy. That's a whole elite figure. And that's just, I did not, I don't know why I didn't expect that. Like, of course, I should have known better. But at the same time, when retros were what, like 10, 12, 13, 14 bucks at most, and these are 21, I know these are better, obviously, and they're a lot cooler. But at the same time, that caught me off guard completely. So that blew me away. I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. But then I ended up pulling the trigger, as you guys see. So let me know if you guys want to see. I'm going to review on that, but we did get three of the four Superstar Series 1, and then we do have the Santana and Ortiz from Unrivaled Series 4. We have our Kevin Owens, our Randy Orton, our two LJ and Cody's, our two John Nottas, and we did get the Exploding Barbar Bar Deathmatch in the mail there, but I think that pretty much wraps up the toy hunt. I'm still on the hunt for the Batistas. I am still in the process of trying to hunt down some chases at GameStop because I've seen a lot of that craziness going around, so we will see what all serves of that, man, but that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for checking out the toy hunt let me know your thoughts on everything down in the comment section below have you hit this week let me know down below man but i'm getting out of here subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys and i'll see you guys next time and don't cross the line like the superstars line man what is that 21 dollars a figure just blew me away i don't know what i was expecting but not that you crossed the line i've been